This is one of the steps to an article that I've written for eHow. You might want to read it before you watch this video, otherwise this might not make sense to you. You can find the link to the article in the description bar. Assuming you've read the article, right now you should be looking at the log results from the HD speed software. You're looking at column 2 everywhere where it says 0 kilobytes a second, meaning the data is not being read, so we assume that there is an error somewhere in those sectors. I have made a fake log for you and highlighted the parts you should be looking at for the errors. So right now we're gonna need to do a little math. On a blank piece of paper let's write down all the errors that we got from our log. Let's say the error 1 was somewhere around 38,925 kilobytes, error 2 somewhere around 3,789,319 kilobytes, Error 3 at 5,899,302 kilobytes, and error 4 around 36,739,528 kilobytes. All these values are in kilobytes and we need to convert them to megabytes to have an easier calculation. Now one megabyte has a thousand kilobytes, so the easiest way to get kilobytes to megabytes in our case would be just to disregard the last three digits. So, error 1 would be 38 megabytes, error 2 would be 3789 megabytes, error 3 would be 5899 megabytes, and error 4 would be 36739 megabytes. Now we're going to take every number that we got and round it to nearest thousands. Remember your routing rules on this one. So, 38 rounds to 0, 3789 rounds to 4000, 5,899 rounds to 6,000 and 36,739 rounds to 37,000. Next, we take all the numbers that we got and subtract 1,000 and add 1,000 to it. So for 0 we get 0 and 1,000. For 4,000 we get 3,000 and 5,000. For 6,000 we get 5,000 and 7,000. And for 37,000 we get 36,000 and 38,000. Now notice what happened between error 3 and error 2. Error 2 goes from 3,000 to 5,000 and error 3 goes from 5,000 to 7,000. Thus we can say that error 2 and 3 combined together go from 3,000 to 7,000 because there is no gap between them. Now we take every number that we got in our results and subtract it from number that's right above it. So 1000 minus 0 gives you 1000, 3000 minus 1000 gives you 2000, 7000 minus 3000 gives you 4000, 36000 minus 7000 gives you 29000, and 38000 minus 36000 gives you 2000. These are the key numbers that we will be using later in this video. Now you are probably asking yourself, what do these numbers mean? Well, simply said, we need to sacrifice 1000 megabytes to find error 1, then we need to sacrifice 4000 megabytes to find errors 2 and 3, and then we need to sacrifice 2000 megabytes to find error 4. The good news is that we should have a 2000 megabytes that are free of errors, and another 29000 megabytes which are also free of errors. So those green numbers are our good hard drive space. Now only limitation to this is that you cannot have more than four green numbers because you will not be able to split the hard drive in that many different parts. This will vary from a person to person and hard drive to hard drive depending where you have your errors. You will probably need to consolidate some of them just like you've seen in the error 2 and error 3. Now that all the math is behind us, we can go ahead and start isolating the errors on a hard drive. Now what you want to do is right click on my computer, which can be located either on your desktop or under your start menu, select manage and once the pop-up comes up, maximize it to full screen. Then go to disk management. I have more hard drives, let's not worry about those. We only worry about the bottom one drive right here. Now however you connected the drive that you are working with, let's pretend this M drive is the drive that you are having problems with. So first thing we want to do is delete the entire partition of the drive. Now I told you that you need to back up your data because it's going to be erased right about now. 
Once everything is deleted successfully, the top bar will turn black. Now we want to start creating a hard drive spaces on that drive and trying to isolate the bad part of the drive. Now let's remember all the numbers that we have written down in the last column of our math. Once we have them, right click on the black bar, click New Partition, click Next, make sure Primary Partition is selected and write down the first number of 1000. Click Next, click Next, in File System pick NTFS and click on Perform Quick Format, click Next and Finish. The new drive will have a blue line on the top. Next, again right click on a black part, go to New Partition, click Next, click Next. Now write down the second number of 2000, click Next, click Next. Select NTFS, perform quick format, Next and Finish. Once that is done, another blue part will appear. Since the first hard drive that we created, which is designated as New Volume M, is the one with a bad sector in it, we want to right click on it and go to delete partition and press yes. Now it turned black which means it will not be used by a computer. To continue isolating another error, right click on the last black bar that you have and redo the steps as we did before. Now write down 4000, click next, click next, go again to NTFS and perform a quick format next and finish. This will create another blue part. Now to continue with the hard drive isolation, right click on the last black bar, redo the same thing and now type in 29,000. Click next, click next, make sure you select NTFS and perform a quick format, click next and finish. This will create another larger blue part. Right now it says formatting as it will say with any larger volumes that you're creating. That's why I put quick format so it's finished earlier. Now the partition that we created before that, right now designated as a new volume letter M, was made out of 4000 megabytes which is in red meaning there's an error and if you recall correctly there's actually two errors on it because we combined error 2 and error 3. We want to delete it so the computer doesn't see it. So again we're going to right click on it, press delete partition and press enter. Once that is done it will turn from blue back to black. Now we have one more number that we need to enter, the 2000 megabytes, which in fact is 2 gigabytes. And if you look at the last black bar we have, it says 2.1 gigabytes. Since the numbers are so close together, we're not even going to do anything about it. We're just going to keep it like it is. And right now our job is done. So to finish this tutorial, go back to the eHow article and continue to step 9.